What's up guys? Another day in the matrix down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. As you guys know, I'm kind of on autopilot at this point, but at least we have a few new and exciting things to show you guys today. So I got down here a little late. The guys are kind of finishing up the orders. Uh, we printed the ones out that were placed Sunday to ship out today, and I got a bit of orders to do myself. So let's take a quick look around. These are all the foods orders from over the weekend. You guys know the water kefir, the pemmican, collagen broth, chicken stock, all that type of stuff. We have some meat orders here and more meat orders in there, about two pallets. One of my guys is doing the foods orders right now. He's packing up some chicken broth, which is very, very delicious, guys. Uh, this is twice cooked. So we take the chicken bones and meat, we boil it with some vegetables, we strain it out and we do it again. So it has a very, very reinforced flavor. Way too cheap, honestly. If you guys haven't tried this, it's only, I think, $4. And then this is our collagen broth, which is back in stock. We put a little bit of salt in it so it lasts longer. We're running very low on the best bars and the pemmican as well, but we can make more pemmican. So the past two weeks, you guys are pretty excited to buy the roast beef. Not as much sales anymore. Uh, so we have a decent amount of it here. And as I said, this kind of oxidizes on the outside, even though it's still rare and very, very delicious on the inside. So I'm gonna, show a clip that I recorded yesterday while we were cutting it. So keep in mind, despite the appearance, you know, when you bite into this, it's gonna be really red, rare, and I mean, I've been eating this every day, guys. The most delicious roast beef I've ever had. You don't have to prep, it's nice. And we keep this in the fridge, and then we put it on top of the order so that you know it doesn't freeze all the way. So we'll see how the roast beef sales go for the next few weeks before I decide to buy those ovens. I thought it was something more people would like, but Maybe not. I even lowered the price a little bit. We were doing it for $14 uh, for eight ounces, which is to me what I had to charge for it to be worth doing. I think I bumped that down to 12 or 13. So we got a lot of 93.7 ground beef in stock. That's what we're gonna use to make the meat granola. The Tajima Wagyu sirloin. We also have back in stock. It comes like this. It's two six ounce steaks. So 12 ounces total, very affordable for Wagyu. I think the main thing we got in stock last week is the, is the whole tenderloin, which we were missing for a little while. I show you guys this last week, we have London broil available. Oh, it looks like we have some pork skins, which we don't get too often, so let's see. There's a couple for you guys this week. And this is the, uh, the stamp that they have to put on the animal for the USDA regulation. So, it, I mean, it's food diet safe, but we can't really do anything about it. You guys have been buying this too. We got the one pound venison shoulder back in stock. And you guys bought all of the chuck roast and the one pound chuck steak. So we'll have those back this week. Yeah, on the meat end of things, nothing really new this week. We're gonna try to just restock some stuff for you guys. And uh, hopefully we don't run out of too much stuff, but maybe we'll end up doing some sort of liquidation because I'm losing my mind down here. Oh, I forgot upstairs that we're gonna do the apple macadamia banana bars this week. I don't have them ready yet to show you guys. <laughs> it was kind of a catastrophe because we bought dried apples and bananas and they wouldn't go in the meat grinder because they're like too hard. So we had to soak them in water, which makes them non-perishable. So these bars that I'm gonna send you guys probably last about two weeks in the fridge. So I keep an eye out for the apple banana macadamia bars on Frankie's Free Range Foods, uh, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. and. We'll just do one batch, but then uh, the next batch we do, we'll make sure they're non-perishable for you guys. On organ supplements, the long-awaited plain magnesium oil that you guys have been asking for. It's a different bottle than the old one, so the one with the MSM and magnesium comes like this, and the one with just magnesium comes like this, and it says on the side, like, this one has sulfur, MSM in it, and this one does not, so... OregonSupplements.com, you guys can choose now. What I also told you guys last week but didn't show you is we broke down the trace minerals into three different ones. So we have boron, molybdenum, and manganese. And initially, you know, the trace minerals is good because coming off a carnivore diet, people have all the deficiencies. But, you know, when you get a hair mineral analysis, people tend to be lower in molybdenum. Manganese is usually okay. And some people like taking brawn more frequently. So I decided to break these three up. You guys can get them as well on organsupplements.com. Wi-Fi shielding, nothing new, guys. We have the 
Wi-Fi shielding beanies that are lined with silver for the winter. It's already February, so maybe next year, who knows? We have the head nets back in stock. Uh, my tailor is making the like baby kind of wrap things that you can put a toddler in, or that's like in a crib. So uh, I'll probably show you guys those next week when we get them. So yeah, I mean, I mean, there there are quite a few new things this week. We have the new lip balm formula, which is just coconut oil and beeswax as opposed to the beef tallow, which I personally like this better because of how easy it is to put on. We got some pineapple water kefir in stock. You guys have been buying all of the water kefir. Some of you have been emailing me that you can't get any. So, you know, we're moving along, we're pushing, we're trying. So again, as I said earlier in the video, I'll see how things go over the next few months. I'm not holding my breath though. I just, you know, I can't be in this godforsaken warehouse any longer dealing with all the nonsense that goes on every week. So thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. You know, I don't care about that shit. Just uh, if you want, you can see all the businesses on frank defilocom Any questions about any products, please let me know. And as I always say every week, if you guys have a problem with your order, if there's ever anything wrong, please let me know. You know, my guys usually don't make mistakes, but you know, the USPS, UPS, sometimes they throw packages, they get damaged. Uh, sometimes they break the water kefir, but I, I've been wrapping it differently recently. So please don't hesitate to reach out via email to any of the businesses if you have an issue with your order and we'll get it solved.